good morning. Today I wanted to talk about opportunity. What does opportunity look like? Where can you find it? And how do you know what to do if you think that there's possible opportunity in your life? So I've taken some notes here. Um, so what is opportunity? Opportunity is something that you can find anywhere. So this is such a broad general topic, but this could be something that is possibly in your career, relationships. It could be just, you know, a major change in your life. Um, or it could be something subtle. So opportunity is something that is not always obvious. It can be something that, um, you know, if you have like one tiny little thought that just is very persistent and keeps coming back in your life, I personally feel that that thought is there for a reason. Whether you're a religious person or if, uh, you know, whatever you believe in, I personally believe that God is putting that thought in my head and I need to do something with it. Um, and sometimes opportunity is disguised. Sometimes the grass isn't always greener on the other side. So if you're thinking about work, for instance, and you're not happy with maybe your position or the place that you're in, um, and you think that maybe switching to a different location or a different company would change that. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you kind of have to self-reflect a little bit and figure out what exactly you're unhappy about. And if that is something you can change, go for it. Um, if it's something that's conditional and you know you can't change, then maybe it is the opportunity that you need to move on to a different company. Where to find opportunity? Opportunity can be everywhere and anywhere. The more you shut yourself off and close your mind from opportunity, the more you will find it very hard um, to even find opportunity and you possibly won't even realize that opportunity is there for you. So you always need to be on the ready. You always need to have an open mind, always be ready for the next adventure. And sometimes going backwards in your career or uh, you know something in life that you're thinking about right now, sometimes taking a step backwards is actually putting you on the right path that you're supposed to be on. So if you're thinking about being an entrepreneur and opening your own business or starting a tech company, and right now you're you know, afraid or you don't know if you really can do that, and so by stepping down from a position that you're in, going backwards a little bit, maybe getting a job you don't really care about but gives you the opportunity to have more time to work on the business on the side, you know, idea, that might be where you're supposed to go. Again, this can be in relationships too. Um, it really just depends on how you're looking at this. Um, how to act on opportunity. Acting is the hardest thing. You'll get an idea in your head, you think you're gonna run with it, but the action and moving forward with that action is the hardest part. Um, and we'll get into fear in a second. But how do you act on that? So acting on opportunity um, won't be easy. It's gonna be uh, mostly gonna be a risk. It's gonna be a huge risk in your life. And if you're not used to taking risks, then this could be something that you're not very sure about, especially if you have a family and you're supporting your family. You know, do you take that step back um, financially, but there's an opportunity over here that you could potentially make more money somewhere else. So there's always gonna be a risk. It's not gonna be easy. If you do come across an opportunity to do something, maybe a job hires you or a company sees something in you and you don't have a way of getting there, you don't know, um, you have to be licensed or whatever the factors may be, it's not gonna be easy and you're gonna have to find a way to work through it. You have to be the one that pushes through, that overcomes the obstacles because that company or that person or whoever that is, they're gonna move on if you're not willing to act on something. Somebody is not gonna hold your hand through life. 
You have to be the one that moves yourself forward, that overcomes the obstacles, that pushes through. All of those little motivational quotes that you can find on Pinterest. Um, why act on opportunity? So this is something that came to my head this morning. Complacency is toxic to our purpose. I'm gonna say it again. Complacency is toxic to our purpose. Complacency is something that you get comfortable. Maybe you are in a great job. You never thought you'd be in that position, have that salary, whatever it is. And for some reason, you're still unhappy. Who knows? Who knows where you are? But if you feel comfortable, you're not taking risks, you are complacent, everything is just expected in life at this point, are you really serving the people around you? Are you really living to your full potential, your true purpose? Are you really doing what you were put on this earth to do? If you're saying no right now, what are you doing? Get out there and go take some risks. And I know it's scary. There are scary things every day that people have to overcome. So let's talk about fear and comfort a little bit. Fear and comfort won't bring you to your purpose, obviously. Fear and comfort are gonna keep you in your complacent state. You're never gonna be able to break through if you're staying comfortable. There is a quote that I have on my laptop. So every morning I open my laptop up before I get to work and it says, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. That's amazing. I mean, if you really truly think of that, you're not living your life being complacent. You're not doing what you're meant to be doing on this earth by being complacent. And maybe it's not with your career. Maybe you're complacent in your relationship. Maybe you gotta spark a little fire in there. Who knows, whatever you're thinking about right now. So my challenge to you is try one new thing every day. Something scary, something new every day. And if that one thing is supposed to be something that's getting you closer to your end goal or where you wanna be, wherever that opportunity is right now, keep doing that because that fear eventually will subside. Eventually that fear goes away, you overcome it. Maybe you get a little bit of anxiety, but hey, it's not too bad. So for me, my biggest thing, I'm in real estate. So my biggest fear has been cold calls and door knocking. And I have made it a point at least every day to talk to, when I first started, one new person a day that I had no idea who they were. It was terrifying. And some people were so nice and some people were jerks. And that's life. You just kind of have to get over it. So challenge, do one new scary thing every single day one thing. All right, here's my coffee. I know I didn't show you guys this earlier. I had to go this morning. Things happen in real estate all the time. You just have to be on the ready. So we had to go get coffee and then come back and then do our happy video. So I hope you guys have a beautiful Memorial weekend. Thank you to everyone who has served this country. My heart goes out to you guys. I wouldn't be able to have the career I have without the sacrifices that you make. So thank you very much and have a beautiful weekend.